Hi everyone, welcome to another My Five. And if you haven't seen one of these before, this is a monthly series I do where I share with you a green product that I like, a brand, a book or documentary, something new I've learned, and a blogger or YouTuber that I follow. So let's jump right into June's. The product I wanna share with you this month is just regular arrowroot powder. And you may be familiar with this as a cooking ingredient. It's used to thicken sauces and in baking and some other things. But I really like it as a beauty product because it does a lot of stuff and I use it in my homemade deodorant. I mix it with coconut oil and baking soda to make just a simple homemade deodorant that works amazing. I use it as a mattifying face powder because it absorbs oil and moisture and I get kind of an oily T-zone, so sometimes I'll just dust a little bit on. And I've seen people come up with all kinds of DIY recipes for making their own foundations or bronzers or other powders using arrowroot. And I also use it occasionally as a dry shampoo if my roots are a little bit oily. Again, it just soaks that up. I've also heard that it can be really good for healing insect bites just as a paste, but I haven't tried that and then you can just use it in cooking and it's also supposed to be really good for digestion. Of course, it's natural and it's super cheap. You can find it at the grocery store. So I just always love having some of that around. I actually have two eco fashion brands I wanna share with you this month. Since we're getting into summer, even though it hasn't been summery here at all, I wanted to share some swimwear brands with you. The first is Odina, and this is a brand based out of California. All of their swimwear is manufactured in California, and they use materials made out of recycled bottles and fishnets, which is really interesting. Their swimwear is tested on surfers and athletes, so you know that it's functional and practical and not just fashionable. And the second brand is L Evans, which is an Australian company, and all of their swimwear is made to order in Melbourne, which reduces waste, and it's made out of recycled lycra and other recycled materials, and they also design the swimwear to reduce fabric waste, which is really cool. Both companies have really cute swimsuits. I haven't actually purchased anything from either company, but if you are looking for a new swimsuit for the summer, then you should check them out. This month, instead of a book or documentary, I actually have a podcast that I've really been enjoying, and it's called Conscious Chatter. It's by Kestrel Jenkins, and she has all kinds of really interesting and inspiring ethical and sustainable fashion people on. She interviews Sophia Mini from People Tree, Courtney Carver, the creator of Project 333, Tim Gunn. She has great questions, and yeah, the people that she has on are just so knowledgeable and passionate and have so much insight into sustainable and ethical fashion and she focuses on different topics like water and storytelling and transparency and all kinds of things. I only discovered it pretty recently but I've just been listening to them so often. The episodes are about half an hour so I'll usually go for a walk or put them on while I'm cooking dinner. So if you're interested in learning more about ethical fashion and the fashion industry and just all kinds of stuff around that, then I highly recommend checking it out. And something new I learned this month is that next month is Plastic Free July, and that's a challenge to refuse all single-use plastics for the month of July. And I think it's really good to just be more aware of our plastics and how much plastic we're using. So I'm gonna definitely be doing it, and I invite you to join me. I know that I'm not gonna be able to do 100% plastic free because unfortunately, there's nowhere where I live that I've found yet where I can buy bulk things like pasta and rice and cereals. So I will have to buy those things in plastic bags, but it's about just being more aware of our plastic consumption and trying to reduce it as much as possible. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you can sign up to try to reduce all of your plastic or also to avoid the four major ones, which are plastic bags, plastic bottles, coffee cups, and straws. And I think straws in particular are gonna be a challenge because I always forget about them and I forget to ask for no straw. So in July, I'm gonna to try to be really aware of that and try to build up the habit of just ordering drinks and asking for no straw. So I'd really love for you to join me on that and I'll probably film a little update video at the end of July about how it went. And finally, the blogger I wanna share with you this month is Carolyn from Unfancy. And if you're interested in capsule wardrobes or you've been researching capsule wardrobes, you've probably come across this blog. 
It's an excellent capsule wardrobe resource. She talks about planning and shares her outfits and also her personal stories around her capsule wardrobe. It's really inspiring. It's a great resource. She also has a free capsule wardrobe planner, which you can download and print out and fill out while you're planning your capsule wardrobe, which is really helpful. And she's got great photos and outfit inspiration. It's definitely a great blog if you're interested in capsule wardrobes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I will include links below to the things I mentioned, and I would love to hear in the comments about something you've been enjoying this last month. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button up there and you'll get notified when I upload new videos, and I will see you in the next one.